six, six. preparing the 2007 Berlinale, where we would be both young journalists. And yes. Yeah, but, but did the, you work together <coughs> on the no. jury? No. no. Because he was 15 and I was 13, so I was in the children's jury and he was in the youth's jury. Yeah. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. So tell me about the first conversation. We took, we took the S-Bahn together to go home after the first yeah. meeting and we said, ah, what do you think about these yes, films? Ah, I think this one would be interesting. Film festivals or festivals in general are very important for communication and um, it was always important to me and I learned a lot about different countries, about different cultures, meeting creative people and exchanging opinions and discussing and there was always something that helped me in my way of thinking to, to broaden my horizon to um, to get to know more things and um, although uh, the process of how the festival is going is always the same the festival especially the Berlinale is always different because there are different people you meet um, there are different films you see the audiences are different, a bit different. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and I really hope to be part of that for a long time. And Morris was there at St Andrews, and so I decided eventually to go to St Andrews as well. Um, studied Arabic and international relations. Um, did film studies as well for some time, but dropped it because it was too theoretical for me. Um, it wasn't filmmaking. It wasn't filmmaking. It was. Yeah, very kind of basic film understanding analysis. and analysis, and I thought that was really ridiculous. Um, I mean, I might think about it differently today, but <laughs> but back then I thought it was ridiculous. I think it was a Gaza war going on, and I had friends in in, in, in Gaza, and, and you know I was interpreting and analyzing a scene from Shakespeare in Love, and you know it all seemed very irrelevant <laughs> and very far from reality t to me. Um, but because I studied Arabic, um, I kind of pursued that, um, like going to places in that world. And while I was living in Egypt, I uh, I had loads of holidays because I was working in a school. So I went to Lebanon and, and uh, Turkey, Jordan, Israel, Palestine. And, and then I did a semester abroad in Morocco. Um, and then during the summer I went to Sudan and, and worked uh, at the Goethe Institute there. So kind of loads of different experiences in that Arab-speaking world. Um, so I hope that one day maybe it's totally normal to have on one day a film from India, a film from China and a film from uh, Malawi um, and where everybody just goes there and thinks uh, let's Let's see how it is. Let's let's try. Let's discover, and that we have a more diverse film industry. That because it it is very diverse, but in the end, the the main audience uh, cannot take profit of it, and that would be great if it could change one day. That's what something I wish for the future. Moritz, hmm. back to the color of milk. Hmm. Are there some recurring images and and? Have they influenced decisions you've made? Mm, probably yes. Um, so I think in the first place, um, it is similar to Vincent. It has changed the way that I looked at cinema, um, but that is not directly like an incident on my like life and like decisions I, I make. But definitely in like how I enjoyed films and the festival and. How I understood what maybe a good film's about. Um, I think, yeah, I think um, it taught me quite a lot on on love, probably, and like when to when to let go, like when to listen to your feelings and how, and um, also like to understand that love um, is complicated and that it's okay to have contradictory feelings, probably. Um, that was, uh, I think, quite good. Yeah, that was quite, yeah, educative <laughs> in that sense. 
Um, otherwise, I think the, the film is much more light and funny and um, jolly compared to uh, C'est pas moi le jour. So it's maybe I, I, I take less, um, yeah, like maybe less morals from it, but more, yeah, more an approach to 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 life, to love, uh, yeah, to let yourself go. Also to summer holidays. I think back then it really like it changed the way I looked at summer holidays, and it's, it's not just a boring time. It's also a <laughs> socially interesting time. <laughs> we have a lot of interactions and. Um, yeah, and it also changed probably the way I looked at um, yeah, like children of my age and you know, how I looked at boys or girls of my age. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so so I, I decided to pursue my other big passion in life next to film, uh, which is uh, railways. <laughs> Has nothing to do. Uh, just <laughs> dropping this casually in the middle of the conversation. But yeah. so. Um, so yeah, I decided that railways was the thing to do. Um, yeah, I deeply believe that railways are a good thing for society. They are comfortable, ecological, fast, uh, beautiful, and um, just a great thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I wrote my dissertation on railways, and then I enrolled for a master's in Paris uh, on transport and sustainable development. If there were a greater flow of and sharing of international films what do you imagine the world would be like? I think it would help a lot in many situations. Um, so, I mean, the one thing is there is a flow of movies. The second one, the second thing is people go and watch it. So, um, if we can, like, without forcing people, make them, <laughs> make them watch, like, catch their interest for for different situations in life, different places, different countries. Um, yeah, I think it would definitely help to, to um, it sounds so simple, but it would help to fight cliches and, and, um, and prejudice in many ways. Yeah, I think it would, yeah, spread more empathy and um, make people also more curious and more more keen for mutual uh, exchange and understanding. Um, for example, many many times when I traveled to um, to Iran, people would ask me what life is in Germany, because um, they kind of, they have an image of Germany, but um, it's it's an image that they have from like accounts from friends of friends of friends who tell them that it's a country with beautiful cars and highways and where everything works and that everything is well organized but they kind of want to know more more about life and how we live how what our daily life is if there was a movie that would like show this to them and had a good story around it and i think it would make it much more tangible and and that's something that they definitely don't have in iran uh, they they don't are they have it too. I mean there is some international film going going around, but not much, and it's censored and so on. But <laughs> in the end of the festival, when you're quite tired, um, we always had like a sleepover at uh, one of each other's places, also with some other friends mm -hmm. from the festival, uh, and we would cook together. And lasagna is a really good meal to cook together because you have to prepare it for a long time, so you have a lot of time to talk. The other years as well, just not in Berlin anymore because we'd both be in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we'd, yeah. we'd meet in Scotland <laughs> to kind of celebrate our yeah. post-festival. It was the post-festival decompression meal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, show, would, you would debrief about the films. Yes.